Hey there, welcome back to uh, Jeep 877. Um, got some food, fish, fish food here for my fishes. I'm gonna go ahead and uh, open this up and we'll see uh, what we got. Now we got a break. Mm -hmm. So it looks like. Do they like it? Oh, yeah, they're eating it right up. Oh, they eat the whole thing. Yeah. The goldfish like their new food. Mm -hmm. This is either pond sticks. They're fans for uh, koi fish and goldfish. So it's up for better water quality. Mm -hmm. It's all going up pretty good. And these are my water lettuce right here. Looks like there's some new ones right here, actually, that started blooming yeah, here. See that? Yeah. Oh, it popped off. They just popped off. Yeah, right? They just popped right off. There it is. Let's see if they got any, any other ones around here. Yeah. Oh, this one's upside down. With the water pressure here, they got a... I had these coordinated all off. I'll have to try to re-coordinate them off. Mm -hmm. The next project here is though is to, to repaint this guy and I'm going to be uh, repainting the uh, long neck right here. Try to get that one done today. We'll be right back. I went ahead and placed painter plastic down the ground so that I wouldn't get paint on the grass. Then I used painter tape to put it over the toenails of the dinosaur, that way that I wouldn't paint the toenails and keep it a nice white color once I peeled it off. After that, I got the painter tape and I placed it inside the mouth in order to keep the teeth and tongue from getting paint on it. After that, I decided to go ahead and make sure that I put the painter tape on the eyes. That way I wouldn't accidentally paint the eyes the same color that I'm going to paint the dinosaur. I've gotten everything covered up with the painter tape that I didn't want to paint. I began to paint it. As you can see, the dinosaur was severely faded, and it really needed to get, you know, rejuvenated. And the best way I could decide to do that was by getting a nice, good, you know, clean coat of paint on it. I kind of wish that I went a little darker with it. But I think it's just dark enough to where I think it's going to come out pretty nicely.
Whew, got all that done. Now it's time to let it dry. Yep, we're back now. Gotta get some pliers so I can peel the tape off of it. Yep, let's get some pearly whites. Mm, get some paint. I'm gonna go ahead and paint the tongue, make it look nice and natural looking. Not so bad. Looks really good. Yep, now I just gotta peel the tape off the toes. Oh, nice little white nails. Perfect, just what I wanted. Now I move the statue to where it's finally going to rest. There it is. The finished product. I think it came out pretty great. I think the tongue looks pretty good too. Nice white teeth, nice white nails, and nice perfectly uh, medium gray, I would say. At least it's not faded no more. Yeah, these are my gigantic fish. Yeah, these fish are about five to six inches long. They're pretty big. I'm gonna take a little handful of this. Not bad. And they got nice and fed that time. I just had to reorganize everything. This is the second little bit of feeding I just did for a handful for. This is going to be liking it pretty good. Hopefully that filled them up. Now Water Life though is doing an excellent job. Thanks for watching Jeep 877 Adventures. Don't forget guys, like, subscribe, and share. And also, tell me below in the comments what you'd like to see next. Thanks guys. Till next time, Jeep 877 Adventures.